Yeah, Phosphorescent have been playing out of their minds. Carter especially. I mean, don't get me wrong. Random Japanese characters really did have a <laughs> ring to it, if you ask me. But we started calling him Carter, and he started coming into the game. Look, it's 25 and 6 he died at the end of the times. day. That guy, is, uh, <laughs> he, he did some insane work. Ooh. Alfie. Where's one from Alfie? I get an aggressive in mid. Finds Phosphorescent. Will he get taken down? Absolutely. But some great attacking prowess using those weapons to their advantage. There we go. So, brought down to a three versus three situation. The Brimstone on Team Force is tagged up slightly, but the attackers do have a very healthy amount of mid control once again. Mercy will explore towards the A main side of things, try and gain that information for his team. But Team Force are just happy just to sit in place at the moment, just wind the clock down and then to make a decision later on. It looks like they're going to readjust, though, towards this B bomb site. And this is where Rainbow Six Siege Gamer is. Uh, with the silence pistol needs to find three to maybe give his team a chance in this round they haven't checked the site fully though there is the opposite uh cypher going down the trade comes through from mr weeb there and uh, we'll have to see if mercy can work his way in now two versus two still the pistols on the on the defensive side here so not really looking likely they'll be able to get this round echo with the great shot there with the marshal just spooky Ooh. left in this one versus two Brimstone, opposite Brimstone, oh, half HP, he's trying to go for the knife, and oh, gets the reload out, it's a knife fight here, on the B-bomb side <laughs> between the two Brimstones, and it'll be the 4K for random Japanese characters. Vision doesn't seem to matter in this situation, as far as he's concerned, and the attacker, net attackers yet, you know, they should be able to close out this round pretty easily. Team Alfie, they are up against mostly pistols in this situation, they're just being relatively clinical about things as they've uh, secured B. Yeah, and yet again, these very, very concerted pushes coming out from Phosphorescent side using all of their weapons, all of their angles, and all of their utility, their advantage. I feel like Alfiac, they're relying very, very heavily on aggression, on picks, on catching Phosphorescent side off guard. But the longer this game goes, the more coordinated they're going to get, the better they're going to get at checking their angles. Unacceptable. It's going to be really difficult to pull it off by the end of the half. Yeah. You've got to sneak one by, and so you need to pull out some sort of cheese strat, or at least get some sort of early round kill here. Spooky with the deep smokes towards mid. Oh, and he, and just as soon as he peeks out, he gets picked off by Carter, as we are now told, with the wonderful Japanese characters. Mercy, though, trying to hold down this B side of mid and almost able to complete the spray onto the spike carrier. Rainbow Six Siege game, but the only one left to try and defend this B bomb site. And he has Pinyu, but he needs to do so much more to gift his team the round, to gift his team a chance in this game. He's able to spot one out towards the heaven side, but Echo with the push through main takes him out of the equation. Two versus three. Now three versus three, as Shadow has his res up and uh, gets Spooky back onto his feet. A neat little upgrade there onto the rifle for Alfie as well, as they'll gain control of the window side of B, and Alfie able to land the spray onto Foss. So now they have the numbers advantage in this retake. Starting to work their way in, but looks like Carter with the operators just picking them off. Great little headshot, though, from Shadow to take Carter out of the equation. And that is the round for Team Alfie. Finally, they get one. They do. And honestly, I've got to say, granted, it was the same B take that we've seen for the past nine rounds in a row, but they finally figured it out. Here for the defensive side, Spooky's actually going to get walled off for that situation there. So... Uh, looks like Team Foss preferring to play a little bit more safe and then try and get go towards that B window. Shadow's going to back off of things as that attacking Perez comes through. Yeah, I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Keep sending it towards B. <laughs> when Carter's taking heads off like that, the bodies are going to roll. Mercy, the first to go. And now as this defense slowly just crumbles, they're already locked out of their own sight here. You see Shadow taking angle. Spooky finds one in mid, though, with that wall finally out of his way. They can kind of start to open this one up. Yep, they can. Shadow, great little kill there with the Sheriff, able to get the heal and a rifle as well. So, there's certainly a, a possibility if they want to go for this. The optical strike will complicate things somewhat. The Cypher's pushing through there, wins the gunfight with Shadow. It just leaves now Spooky left. One versus two situation on the B-bomb site. Spooky jumping out of the window, won't be here. It spots out the Cypher towards defender spawn has to try and locate the other but the spike is ticking down away and carter will deny him any opportunity 
Yeah. Looks like it's going to be a five-man... Well, not five-man commitment. It's more like a four-man commitment towards mid for the attacking side of Alfie. They need this pistol round at least to give them a slight chance. But Carter cuts down two with his silenced weaponry. A bit of confusion there inside of mid. And Carter, he's been able to find another one on the defense here. Alfie, oh, the tracking's are trying to remove it at exactly the wrong time as Phosphorescent swings the corner. And look at the weapons coming up from Alfie. They barely got any frags. They barely got any cash from it. They are going in this one oh. bone dry, and it's going to take some serious clutch factor to pull this out. Yeah, there's the opening pick from Carter, the second one to his name as well, as he just almost single-handedly cleans up towards mid. There's another one as well with the orbital strike so this is going to be all she wrote unfortunately unless shadow is able to pull off a pretty insane clutch he gets blinded for just a moment swings back around lands a couple of shots on to carter but carter with the 4k secures the game for team foss just brilliant stuff from that side uh, there's not much more that can be said yeah, Phosphorescent have been playing out of their minds. Carter especially. I mean, don't get me wrong. Random Japanese characters really did have a <laughs> ring to it, if you ask me. But we started calling him Carter, and he started coming into the game. Look, it's 25 and 6 he died at the six end of the times. day. That guy, is, uh, he, he did some insane work. And a lot of it wasn't just entry frag. It was really effective trades, especially on the Brimstone. You're going to be coming into the site second a lot of the time because you're using your smokes. Mm -hmm. You need to trade out your teammates effectively. And... Doing that without dying only six. I can't get over that, man. That is ridiculous.